Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanay Pramanikap. In this video, we're going to talk about why protein is so much important to you. How much protein do you actually need per day? Are there any long-term side effects? Can you take protein powder? Why did Elon Musk buy Twitter? We have answers to all these questions in this video. My friend Saravana Kumar is like, day pal, don't eat too much protein. It will damage your kidneys. I was like, who told you? He said, there is a forward in my WhatsApp group called Madhu Piriyargal, aka Alcohol Lovers. Day. First, kidney you check your group or liver. So every food that we take has carbs, protein and fats. If life is a movie, carbs, protein and fats are like music directors Ilaya Raja, A. Rahman and Anirudh. Protein is like Ilaya Raja music. It is very instrumental in keeping us healthy. If not consumed adequately, there is an instrument called Sangh which might be used in your life sooner than what you think. So every man and woman needs protein 0.8 grams per kilogram no matter who you are from Usula Mani to Arnold Schwarzenegger everybody needs the basic 0.8 gram per kilogram so protein has two main functions number one it repairs all the damage that we do to our body and builds our muscle bone cartilage and skin and number two it increases the satiety hormone called leptin what I mean by that is it will make you feel full so you are not hungry so the total calorie amount is less which is a great tool for weight loss it is exactly like Mani Ratna movie dialogues. The words are short, but the impact stays longer. Eh? Deva. So unfortunately, media has created this impression that protein is only for people who go to gym. If you eat too much protein, your gymnastic body will become gym nasty body. So the problem in the current Indian diet is it is rich in carb and the good quality protein is generally minimal unless you are very conscious about it. Our staple foods like rice, dosa, chapati, pongal, everything has carbs and protein is generally low. I remember when I grew up, when my mom used to keep sambar, I just take the water at the top and leave the protein stuff at the basement and my rice will look like it is celebrating Manjatani Thiruvula. So I want to make two points very clear. Number one, even if you are not overweight and if you are skinny, it is absolutely important to maintain the minimum daily protein requirement which is 0.8 grams per kilo. For example, if you weigh 70 kilos, you should make sure that you take at least 54 grams of protein per day. And number two, if you are overweight and have belly fat, you should take a little bit more close to one gram per kilogram of body weight. For example, if you weigh 80 kilos, you should eat at least 80 grams of protein per day so that it will keep you full. So other calorie content is less, which will promote weight loss. So how do you get proteins in your diet? First, you need to understand what are the food that actually contains good source of protein. For non-vegetarians, it's actually meat like chicken and fish. For vegetarians, it could be egg, milk and cheese. And for vegans, it could be legumes, tofu, seitans. And for Saravana Kumas, it's all the above, below and anything on the land that can be digested. So 140 grams of chicken will give you close to 38 grams of protein. One large egg will give you 6 grams of protein. One cup of milk will give you 10 grams of protein. One slice of cheese will give you 7 grams of protein. 100 grams of kidney beans will give you 9 grams of protein. And handful of nuts will give you 6 grams of protein. After reading this list, I feel like Maliga Kada Annachi cross checking the grocery items. Yella! So based on these numbers, it is very clear that if you are a non-vegetarian, it might be easier to achieve your protein target on a daily basis. Vegetarians can definitely consume their daily protein, but you have to work a little bit harder and a little bit more conscious of what you are including in your diet. So to all my patients, I have been advocating to avoid non-vegetarian as much as possible. As discussed in the previous video, vegetarian diet will promote good bacteria in your small intestine. So there are 21 meals a week, I've been recommending my patients to use only one meal for non-vegetarian in a week. Since I told my friend Saravana Kumar to avoid non-vegetarian, he has been avoiding me. He has saved my name as Pal Herbivore in his contact list and his Hyderabad friend as Andhra Pepper Chicken and his Kerala friend as Malabar Chicken Curry. So beyond these natural food sources, the fitness industry is making a lot of money by selling this protein powder. So what is protein powder? It is usually a obtained from milk. Milk contains two kinds of protein. 80% is casein and 20% is whey. When whey is separated from casein, this whey is being sold as protein powder, which is a purified form of protein. My friend Saravana Kumar is like, hey, 
என்னடா பவுடர் கீடுன்னு கடைசியில கஞ்சா விக்கிற லெவலுக்கு போயிட்டேடா நவ் ஐ அக்ரி வித் பீப்புள் ஹூ ஆர் டெல்லிங் தட் யூ ஆர் ரிசம்பிளிங் த ட்ரக் லாட் கஸ் ஃப்ரிங் ஃப்ரம் பிரேக்கிங் பேட் அவ்வளவு அழகாவா இருக்கேன் சோ தி பிகஸ்ட் அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் திஸ் புரோட்டீன் பவுடர் இஸ் ஈச் ஸ்கூப் கண்டெய்ன்ஸ் க்ளோஸ் டு 25 டு 30 கிராம்ஸ் ஆஃப் புரோட்டீன் बिकॉज இட் இஸ் a complete protein containing all nine essential amino acids protein powder is a complete protein like raymond's a complete man this protein powder can also be obtained from pure vegetarian sources like soy beans which is called vegan protein powder the biggest problem with these protein powders is it is not fda regulated so it is completely up to the manufacturer to do whatever they want so it is similar to a free hit after a no ball they can smash whatever and whenever so only run out is possible so please run away from these manufacturers as soon as possible most of the protein powders will have added sugars which provides that good taste recent study shows that these protein powder can also be containing heavy metals like lead cadmium arsenic and mercury so is protein powder bad the answer is not every protein powder it should meet these two criteria number 1 it should be a purified form of protein it could be either a whey protein concentrate or isolate or a vegan source of protein number 2 the added list of ingredients should be as minimal as possible possible so if the protein powder meets these two criteria it is okay to supplement 10% of your daily protein requirement with these protein powders the remaining 80 to 90% should come from whole food sources like what we talked about in the past when i was speaking to my wife about the protein powder she was like in the podiya dosa ki tottu saapanuma illa thanniya utti dosa yave uthanuma indiya tholaikaajigalil mudan muraiyaga protein powder dosa so in general there is some concern is about protein consumption because they think that it is bad to your body the reason behind that is when you introduce a high load of protein to your body your body needs some time to get adjust to it so you might get some bloating some flatulence some abdominal discomfort but i promise you it will get better as you get slowly exposed to it one real solution is you can take your protein intake very slowly and increase it like day by day or you could change to a different source of protein like dairy free protein or any other alternative form so see the other problem is there has been some misconception that if you take too much protein there will be organ damage including kidney damage which is absolutely not true my wife is like if i eat too much protein i'll get so much medical problems that i need to sell one kidney to take care of those problems i said if you don't take enough protein in your diet you will end up getting one kidney regardless whether you sell it or not the only group of people who should be a little bit more careful is patients with kidney disease especially when when they are having high protein diet even in this group of population if they stick to a regular minimum daily requirement of 0.8 grams per kilograms there is no side effects at all as long as you are taking enough water you don't have to worry about any side effects at all especially in women it is absolutely important that you increase your protein intake because your muscle mass is low to start with so from now moving forward make sure that you read the ingredient and food label on each and every food that you are taking at least you will understand how much protein content is there in each food and make sure that you have at least one protein source in each meal for example in breakfast when you have dosa you could add a egg dosa or you could have a channa masala as a side dish or if for lunch and dinner make sure that it is equally split between three different meals you don't have to calculate each and every gram but you have to make sure that the protein source is included in all your meals So this is what I do for my protein requirement I start with my plant based whole foods like tofu seitan soybeans and if I don't meet the requirement then I go for egg milk and cheese and as I said before I will limit my non vegetarian consumption to one meal per week and most of the times I will be able to achieve my daily protein requirement through this approach if in the worst case scenario if I am busy or I cannot keep up on my protein consumption I do take purified form of protein powder to supplement the 10% of the total daily protein requirement for me so there are many ways to get protein before taking whey protein this can be one of the ways but not the only way so let me know how much you weigh in the comment section along with your whey circumference i will let you know how much amount of protein that you should take on a daily basis both for weight loss and in general maintenance of your health if you think you got anything out of this video please try considering donation 
donation to Aishwaryam Trust. We take care of hospice comfort care patients who do not have any financial or manpower options to take care of them during their last few years of life. Remember again, one belly at a time. It is absolutely important. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.